Based on current retail and resale prices, Gremlin is one of the best values in American small cars. Obviously, it's very popular among small car buyers. People buy Gremlin for economy, but that's only part of the reason. Small car prospects know that Gremlin represents a great value for the money, especially considering the advantages of the exclusive buyer protection plan. To find out more about the appeal of Gremlin, we brought in a man who spent a lot of time researching this matter in the field. We don't know what his real name is, but he says his friends call him Hotwire Willie. Tell me, Hotwire. Uh, just call me Willie. <laughs> okay, Willie. Uh, why is it, do you think, that there is such a demand for Gremlin? Well, Howard, when you compare it with the others, I think it's mainly class. I mean, let's put it this way. If you wanted to get from here to there with all your uh, cargo, and you wanted to do it in style, and maybe, you know, uh, you want something nice for the ladies, but uh, you don't want to go down the road like a rolling house. Okay, Willie, can you just get to the point? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, let me put it this way. I like it because of all the economy, you know? I mean, uh, considering what they're asking for it and how far you can go on a little gas, this car's a steal, you get me? <laughs> but what really makes it better than, say, Vega, Pinto, or the other subcompacts? Those crates? You gotta be kidding. I mean, just for starters, even though they're all comparably base priced, Gremlin gives you a lot more for the money. More weight, wider stance, a bigger engine, and on top of that, Gremlin is the hottest domestic subcompact on the used car lot. And you gotta know, that's my specialty. I'm not wasting my time with something I can't unload. On top of that, Gremlin's got a 21-gallon gas tank. Vega holds 16, Pinto 13, and you can get only 10 out of Beetle. And it ain't like Gremlin was a real gas chugger either. You can drive a long time. American Motors Hornet for 75. Economy, utility, and sleek styling. Available in four distinctive models. The two and four door sedans, the functional hatchback, and the Hornet Sportabout. The efficient size and practical design of AMC's Hornets make them ideal for everyday driving but they also add a lot of enjoyment to special weekend recreation. There are a lot of very interesting places we like to visit. I'm really into this photography thing. We're, well, I, I guess you'd say nuts about antiques. Hornet sedans offer a unique combination of low-cost practicality, comfort, and economical operation without sacrificing roominess and basic good looks. The Hornet sedan is available in two-door or convenient four-door body styles. Hornet's overall size efficiency is achieved with compact outside dimensions combined with interior roominess. The trunk has over 11 cubic feet of usable space, and the interior is spacious and comfortable. And if you want added luxury in a small sedan, there's the optional DL package, which features a tan or buff vinyl roof, tan accents, and a luxurious interior with wood grain instrument panel, carpet and fabric door panels, cashmere knit upholstery, and individual reclining front seats. All this results in a truly distinctive automobile at a reasonable price. With Hornet Hatchback, the emphasis is towards sporty styling. 
and ease of handling provided by the compact 108-inch wheelbase. But a very important feature is the hatch itself, which provides easy access to the carpeted rear cargo area. Inside, there's plenty of room for whatever... They look harmless enough, but don't let that fool you. They're three of the toughest customers I've come up against in a long time. Later you'll find out why, but first let me tell you about them. That's Joe Richards, age 48. Joe's a family man, and like everybody, he's feeling the economic squeeze of inflation and high gas prices. But like he told me, he's worked hard all his life, and even though he wants to trade in his 1973 Torino, he'd hate to give up all that room and comfort now. This is Betty Jones, age 25, a career girl who's very cost conscious. That's why she's been driving her 1971 VW Beetle. But now, she's looking for something with a bit more style in its design, though economy is still important in price, maintenance, and gas savings. And finally, there's Bob Johnson, age 32, a skeptic from the word go. Bob's a big traveler, both on business and pleasure. Next to looking for defective products, Bob's favorite hobby is camping. That's why he's looking for a versatile little car with a smooth ride and easy handling. And he wants a good trade-in on his 1972 Nova hatchback. Up until now, these three new car buyers would have probably settled on three different cars. But this time, my job was a little easier because now there's one car that's right for all of them. Yeah, I know, you've heard that one before, right? But it's true. This car really is different. It's the first wide small car, a car that truly combines comfort, a smooth ride, economy and versatility in one unique design, the 1975 Pacer. AMC designed the Pacer around people's needs, a comfortable alternative to the conventional small car. And as you'll see, there's not much conventional about it. Well, one day I had the uh, pleasure of helping all three decide on a new car at once. And let me tell you, it was an experience. Can I help you folks? Uh, yeah. What the heck is a Pacer? It's a lot of things. For one, Pacer's the first wide small car. So besides being very economical, it's... Car buyers in 75 have some pretty definite ideas about what they want when they walk into an AMC showroom. Take the typical Matador Prospect, for example. They're interested in plenty of family-sized room and comfort with lots of standard convenience features. They want a roomy car that's easy to handle on the road and easy on the budget. Market research indicates that Matador has a loyal following better than a third of recent Matador buyers referred to previous experience with AMC as the primary reason behind their purchase. This means current AMC owners are good prospects for Matadors. And it also shows that after the sales service is very important for repeat business. But there's more an AMC salesman should know about Matador buyers. Two other significant influences on their purchase were the exclusive buyer protection plan and the exciting styling of the coupe. But there's more to Matador than just styling. Salesmen have to be prepared for some tough questions about real consumer benefits this year. For example, ride and comfort are important. And Matador has the ride and interior roominess of a full-sized car with the outside dimensions of an intermediate. Other manufacturers make a similar claim, but actual dimensions prove Matador's point. And these days, it's the hard facts that impress consumers. Let's take a look at how Matador compares with other intermediate cars like the Ford Torino, Chevrolet Malibu, and Plymouth Fury. <laughs> Now, for 75, Matador offers a model lineup which meets the competition head-on. The Matador four-door sedan, the coupe, and the wagon. But that's where the similarities end. Take that Matador wagon, for example. 
It's got more load space than its competition, so buyers can carry large car loads without giving up the benefits of a mid-size car. Matador wagons also provide...